topic is innovation. Innovation will not come unless you have invention. And how does invention come? Invention comes through blue sky research. Blue sky research. What are the any number of products I can name? Even LED came out of blue sky research. And how is blue sky research to guys like you, guys and dolls like you? Because university research is the cheapest form of research. Those research students who are in the audience, they will work for 75, 80 hours a week, no holiday, no weekend, 24 by 7. That's when you come out. And you need crazy individuals. I give you example of two people from DuPont, Karuthers, who was a Harvard professor. He was hired by DuPont to do something original in polymers. And it was the discovery-driven nylon 6. It's an archetype of discovery-driven product in the world. And the same product got another boost through market-driven. And when the aromatic polyamide came in and bulletproof chest came into existence, and same Kevlar fibers today are used for composites. So here's an example of a discovery-driven product by a crazy individual. And here is also a product which is market-driven. Now, you know, research, most people think is a very structured activity. Research is not a very structured activity. Somebody has described this as a random walk in a blind valley to see whether it is really blind. It is here where there is a crash with clash with the management. Management wants certainty, bossism. The crazy individual has iconoclasm. He, you can't, you don't, can't ordain. You have to give a person kind of a free hand to come out with something original. You cannot say, oh, I'll give you 100 crores. 10 crores, will you guarantee? Now, if it is a repetitive thing, you can. Not otherwise. So if you are doing something original, it's a different path. Now remember, the growth has come through not a linear path, through a quantum jump. How? Take a very common item. You had wall-based radio. If your grandfather might have still kept some wall-based radio, then you had transistor, then you had three minute record made out of natural uh, product. Today, then you had the LP long playing record, then you had CD, all gone. Now what do you have? <laughs> you have totally YouTube, you have this and you that. So they have come not through a linear path, through quantum jump. Now take examples in chemical industry. Just two, three examples. And also to prove some point. Greatest breakthrough in the history of chemical industry recognized by various agencies was harbor process for ammonia. 1910s. Even the Heritage magazine had said that was the greatest development. Originally that ammonia was for making nitric acid for explosives. Professor Haber tested 5,000 catalysts, 5,000, and since then that catalyst has still remained, some modifications have been made. What does it show? That apart from intelligence, you need patience, hard work. So without patience, and patience is mandatory if you want to innovate. I'll give you another example. You see these PET bottles. Same DuPont company, Mr. Wyatt. He had any number of failures. And he used to do this work in the spare time. Company allowed him. Today you have PET bottles which is produced at the level of 60 billion bottles a year. 
let me give you one or two examples how a change in process makes the old process completely redundant i'll give you first example of acrylonitrile 1960 it used to be made from acetylene and scm then came propylene amoxidation and the price of acrylonitrile dropped from 33 cents a pound to 11 cents a pound you only hear about increase in price i am giving you an example through a dramatic change in technology so technology brings about a big change now this would not have happened if you did not have fundamentals of catalysis which will allow this reaction to occur propylene plus ammonia plus oxygen going to acrylonitrile acetic acid was made by all kinds of processes and the biggest chemical company in the world bsf put up very high pressure carbonylation of methanol to make acetic acid the day the unit was to operate totally new breakthrough came which allowed acetic acid to be made at as low a pressure as 50 bar through homogeneous catalysis remember many of these innovations led to nobel prize including most recent you heard in chemi in the chemistry very sharpless he got second time nobel prize the first one asymmetric epoxidation of allylic compounds today click chemistry now these what i want to tell you that kinds of work which led to nobel prize metathesis chopping and stitching of molecules dancing of molecules grubs got nobel prize although originally invented in industry to do metathesis of propylene to ethylene plus butene to now exactly reverse is a practice in industry so how basic work leads to something dramatic and the growth is directly linked to technology development even economists nobel prize economists have said growth is linked to technology in advanced countries minimum 50% china has declared the growth will be through technology to the extent of at least 60% so the ingredients i repeat invention invention linked to blue sky research and that blue sky not let's take the example of drug the largest turnover drug was for hepatitis c by gilead but they bought the molecule from a small company pharma and crazy individual before it got approved by fda they paid 11 billion dollars to buy out that molecule the sale went up to 18 billion dollars highest ever in the history of pharma industry so what can happen when you come out with this lastly i want to tell you that in the history of innovations serendipity has played a big role and serendipity has never struck an initiated person what are the examples you all know penicillin but many common items you see today were serendipitous low density polyethylene high density polyethylene cellulose nitrate and you will be surprised that anesthesia insulin radiography they were also serendipitous but serendipity doesn't occur what does it tell you when you are doing some inventive work and you want something very uncommon pursue that pursue that because that is something most unusual and will give you something very delightful you know so this whole process now what do you require for this why indian genes are getting expressed in silicon valley not in india because we are not providing right ambiance if you have hierarchical structure it is an antidote i repeat and told you management wants consensus certainty the person who is doing innovative part has his own craziness iconoclasm so there is a clash like for example what happens in industry in india you talk of something the first question that will be flung at you has anybody done that in the world as if we can't be the first one in the world these are the kinds of things which are coming in the way 
of we Indians within India coming out with original thing. If you have a hierarchical structure, it is an antidote for invention. Therefore, you will not have innovation. And this word innovation is being used very, very loosely. Lastly, I'll give you a couple of examples which have made big impact. Mobile phone is the most outstanding example of all-inclusive growth. Everybody has. It's prestigious to say that I don't have a mobile phone. You know, that kind of uh, tick, reverse osmosis, aro, paniwala, panipuriwala says aro water. Ask him what is aro, he won't be able to tell you. Sab arya ka pani hai. <laughs> Same thing had impact on dialysis. Imagine if hollow fibers had not come, the science of polymer technology, the science of fibers, science of making, if you take it further, that today drinking water from sea water is, is not only a reality, it is practiced on a grand scale. So you know what we are talking about, come out with something original, application will emerge. Take the example of LED, what happened? Any many more examples I can give you that if you come out with something, see it has happened in, in medicines, drugs, it has happened in polymers, it has happened in agrochemicals. Take an example of how innovation can make a big difference. Let's take cultivation of rice. Fair amount of rice is under what you call anaerobic condition and is flooded field. Now, how do you get rid of the weeds and herbs? Naked eye cannot see. But look at the wonders of chemical that you put at some, some small amount, less than a kilo per hectare, and they are wiped out without affecting. That weed was swallowing all the fertilizer at disproportionately high rate at the cost of the main plant. Now, what breakthroughs have come in the new mode that today you have herbicides whose consumption is something like one, one tenth of the original ones. Just as pyrothrites allowed DDT to be displaced. DDT was a wonderful product, but you get even more wonderful product later on. So, my young friends, path is very demanding. You want to be inventive, you have to work hard, you have to have bright ideas, you must read extensively, not only in your domain, but across the domain because everybody says research is interactive, but they don't practice it. You never know. Now, for example, one of the areas of research we took up, you know, role of microphases, that is particle size smaller than diffusion film thickness. The idea came from theory of artificial blood because oxygen is very low solubility in water. Some fluoro compounds have solubility of oxygen 30 times, 25 times. Unless you emulsify this, you will not be able to use artificial blood. So, you know, across the board, invention is an absolute necessity to innovate. And, you know, way people, our politicians are using, uh, they think it, it is something you happen just like that. You will throw some money and innovation will come, it doesn't happen, it, unless it is very pedestrian. So I'm glad I have not followed the instructions given to me. Perhaps I have shared something useful and have a good time.